Once upon a time, there was a dog who had no name, or at least no one ever knew his name. He lived in a town where the people were very kind and patted his head and gave him scraps to eat. But because this dog always wanted more, he was very unpopular with the other dogs in the town. Many times he even fought with them over scraps that people threw out. One day, at the back door of the mayor's house, the cook threw some scraps out to the dogs waiting there. All the dogs pounced on the food, but this particular dog snarled at the others. And so, he got the biggest bone that was thrown out. This bone was almost too big for the dog to carry, but he managed to get it in his mouth, and away he went. On his way, he had to cross over a little stream. He was very pleased with his bone, and so he pranced over the bridge as proud as could be. But when he got in the middle of the bridge, he almost dropped the bone, which caused him to grab at it. And when he did, he looked down into the stream, and what do you suppose he saw? He saw another dog looking up at him. And this dog had a bone too, but his bone looked even bigger and much juicier. So, since the dog was very greedy and always wanted more than he had, he growled at the dog in the stream, which, of course, was just his own reflection. And when he growled, he had to open his mouth. And when he opened his mouth, of course, his bone fell into the stream. You have never seen a more surprised dog in your life. He stood looking down for the dog in the stream, but there were only ripples in the water. When the water was still again, he saw the other dog, but he had lost his bone too. And then the greedy dog realized what had happened. So he tucked his tail between his legs and slunk off across the bridge. Now tell me, do you think he had really learned his lesson? Once upon a time in the jungle, there was a lion, fast asleep. A mouse came along and ran right over the lion's paws, and the big lion awoke with a start and a growl, which frightened the little mouse so much that he was just as still as a... as a mouse. And the big lion was so angry at being awakened that he roared like a like a lion. And as the mouse was tiptoeing away, the lion caught him by the tail. But the mouse cried out, Please, kind sir, I didn't mean to wake you up. I'm awfully sorry, and if you will let me go, I shall always be grateful. But the lion only raised one eyebrow and looked at the mouse. Why, why, it might even be, sir, that someday I can help you, said the mouse. At the very thought of the poor, miserable little mouse helping the big, powerful lion, the lion threw back his head and laughed. Oh, oh, oh how he laughed. <laughs> and the mouse just stood there looking at him with his hands on his hips. <laughs> well, said the mouse, it's not impossible, you know. And the lion only laughed harder until finally he just rolled over on his back and with a flick of his paw he said, Get lost, will ya? So the little mouse got away as fast as he could. 
About a week later, the mouse was moseying through the jungle, going nowhere in particular, when he heard a lion roaring like fury. The mouse went closer to see what the trouble was, and sure enough, there was the lion caught in a hunter's net. The little mouse stuck out his chest and strutted right up to the lion. Now I shall show you my gratitude. I shall free you. And the lion just laid there, drumming his fingers on the ground. So the little mouse started gnawing the ropes of the net. And he gnawed, and he gnawed, and he kept right at it until the lion got free. So the big lion shook hands with the little mouse. <laughs> you know, he said, sometimes little friends are the greatest friends. And the little mouse replied, you are so right. And with a proud smile, he linked arms with the lion, and the two of them walked off into the jungle together. Once upon a time, when everything could talk, the wind and the sun had a big argument. I am stronger than you, said the wind. I can do things that you can't do because I am so strong. But the sun only smiled and said, You may make a bigger fuss than I do, Mr. Wind, but there are some things that I can do that you can't. There is nothing that you can do that I can't do, boasted Mr. Wind. And so the argument went on, the wind madder by the minute, and the sun just smiling her gentle smile. Finally, they saw a man walking down the road, and they decided to put the matter to a test. You see that man, asked the wind. Well, I can make him throw off his coat, and you can't do that. All right, replied the sun. Shall we try? So the wind tried first. He blew, and he blew. But the harder he blew, the more the man hugged his coat around him. Then the wind got very angry. And he blew harder and harder. And still the man bent his head lower and held his coat close around him. Then it was the sun's turn. So she smiled down at the man. As the sun smiled, the man became more comfortable and threw back the collar of his coat and walked on. So the sun shone brighter until the man became very warm and the sweat poured down his face. Finally, he became so weary from the heat that he sat down on a rock to rest and threw his coat away from his shoulders onto the ground. So you see, Mr. Wind, said the sun, you can accomplish more with gentleness than you can with force. And Mr. Wind was so angry that he just blew himself away. <laughs>